Bull trout were once more widely distributed than they currently are. They occurred from the McLeod River in California all the way up to the Yukon Territory and included uh, the states of Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and Montana, and Nevada. Bull trout need really cold water, much colder than salmon. Uh, they need very clean water as well as really clean substrates. Bull trout are our top predators in many streams and rivers and near shore areas and they can be really large as adults. They can live either up in headwater streams or they can live in the large rivers or they can live in lakes, reservoirs or even out in the ocean. Bull trout need to be able to move around. They move into the upper headwaters to spawn and rear and they move into the river or the, the lake or the ocean to forage and they're moving in and out of these habitats on a regular basis. We all use the landscape and poor land use practices can alter things like increasing sediment into their spawning and rearing habitat. We extract water for a variety of purposes and that creates low flows and increased temperatures where bull trout can't move up to their spawning grounds or out to their foraging habitat. We put in barriers to um, make these withdrawals for water and uh, that creates passage problems. We have roads that have culverts on them and that often provide um, barriers to bull trout and the ability for them to move amongst their habitats. We have non-native fish that are impacting bull trout, particularly brook trout and lake trout. After we listed bull trout, a requirement of the Endangered Species Act is to designate critical habitat. To identify those areas that were essential to the conservation of bull trout, we worked with our state and federal agencies, with our tribal partners, with co other conservation agencies, and with private landowners to get their input and provide the latest information on bull trout. So in October 2010, we designated critical habitat in Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, and Nevada. The critical habitat process gets us to update information on where they occur in those areas that are essential. And so now throughout their range, we have a roadmap for our recovery process and for where we'll identify and prioritize those things that will recover the species and conservation measures that will help them out. Bull trout are good indicators of stream health and water quality. And Improving conditions for bull trout will not only help bull trout, but they'll help other fish and other salmonids, and they'll help uh, humans by providing us good, clean water. The variety of things that bull trout need are the very things that we as humans love. Beautiful rivers, clean water, complex uh, stream channels with trees and shrubs along them, the very things that we love, bull trout love too.